Hi everyone and welcome to the Learning Cocos 2D part number 2 in which we learn about scenes, layers and sprites. My name is Mohammad Azam. It's kind of late right now. It's 11.22 p.m. Uh, Friday. Uh, not really sure about the date. It's like 23rd or something. And usually at this time I'm uh, playing cricket. But I gave up cricket just to record this video. So let's go ahead and check out uh, that what we can learn about scenes, layers, and sprites. If you haven't watched part number one, that I highly recommend that you do so. Uh, in part number one, we establish why we should use Cocoa Studio and how it will help us to develop iOS, iPhone, and iPad games. Okay? So I want to show you Coco, uh, the scenes layers by using an application. I'm just going to run this ABC Pop application. Okay? Let's uh, go ahead and select uh, the uh, simulator and just run this. So you'll get an idea of what scenes layers and uh, sprites are. Okay. Now in this case, you can see the application. Now a scene basically is kind of like a stage for acting. Okay. So it's a separate stage to host different acting. Okay. So in this stage, this is kind of like the introduction screen or this is kind of like the home screen as you say and in the home screen you will see the menu okay but before the menu you will also see the background so the background over here is basically a layer okay and you can have of course different layers one layer can be in the background one layer can be in the foreground and then you can have sprites in the layers that are acting as uh, you know they're acting as basically the players. So if I say uppercase over here, let's see what happens. So here we go. So we have this uh, game running and you can see these moving objects. These are called the sprites. Okay, so these are the actual players of this particular game. The background over here is a layer. Okay, and this whole thing is called a scene because this is kind of like a game scene okay the previous scene was the uh, the menu or the home screen but this particular scene is called like a game scene okay and you can have as many scenes as you like okay you can have a game scene you can have really a home or introduction introduction scene and you can also have um, what is that called the congratulation or game over scene so these are scenes layers and sprites okay so let's actually go ahead and build something. I'm just going to create a new application, new project. And if you have already watched the first video in which I basically demonstrated how to set up the Coco Studio for Xcode environment. So you just select the Coco Studio over here and the product name, we, are, we can just say learning uh, Coco Studio. Uh, you can always go ahead and change the product name if you're not satisfied and where we will generate this we're just going to generate this in the documents folder so it's going to generate a folder for our project and when it creates the app it will have like a basic template and basic code already written for us the good thing about the Coco Studio template is that you can now run it okay so if I go ahead and if I say run it's going to basically run the app run the Coco Studio default template app into your simulator okay and it's nothing more than just displaying a label on the simulator uh, but it's a very good way of telling you that hey you got a working copy you got everything installed correctly and now you can go ahead and build some awesome games so let's go ahead and stop that uh, so we're going to learn about scenes and layers and sprites. So what I'm going to do is use uh, now use some of the things that are already in the folder. So we will use this Coco Studio background. I mean Coco Studio image as our background. This will be pushed in a layer, as we will see. Uh, a couple of files over here: Hello World layer, Hello World uh, dot m. Okay, Hello World layer. This is kind of like a default layer that has been added to you. You can add multiple layers root view controller is kind of like a new thing that they added in uh, this particular release of Cocos 2D it kind of organizes your code or if you want to 
you know, do some uh, return uh, or set some orientation. Let's say what happens if I return true from here, okay? So if I return true from this function, should auto rotate to interface orientation, uh, we, we got our uh, orientation set to a portrait mode. And this is okay for this particular app because the image that I'm going to use, which is this one, it's actually in portrait mode. Okay, so it's really much easier. Let's go ahead to the Hello World layer, which where you will start your implementation. And what I'm going to do is uh, delete everything from the init method, which causes the label to be displayed on the screen. Okay. The scene is basically a static method. You can tell this is a static method because it has a, a plus sign. Okay. And if I go over here, where it is? Oh, in the app delegate, maybe. Yeah, they changed it a little bit. And in the app delegate.m, there is a method. This is all generated for you. So, application did finish launching, I think. Okay, yeah. And you can see that it causes the hello world layer to be executed and the scene method is actually called which is a static method so this is the initial scene that will be loaded when your game actually starts so which is hello world dot h this is the particular layer scene layers sprites everything basically in coco studio drive from a class called cc node okay just to keep that in mind let's go ahead and add a sprite okay and this back, this sprite will be like a background sprite. So the main function, the main purpose of this sprite is to add a background to our game. Now we already have a background. It's called default.png. And what I'm going to do is uh, add it to the layer. Layer add uh, child. And then I can say background. Let's run this app and you will see that the background is actually added, but it's not really added in a correct way. As you can see, part of the background is added and not the full. So let's go ahead and fix that. We have to set up the anchor points. Oops. So I'm just going to say background. Oops. Uh, I'm just, I think I'm going to say background dot anchor point and uh, 0, 0,0. 0. So now we have set up the the anchor point uh, and you can see the background. Uh, you can see that, you know, we have a new background. One other thing you will notice is the frame rates uh, are displayed over here at the uh, bottom left corner. Frame rates are very important when you are actually building your app because you don't want your frame rates to go into 20s or 10 or 15 or like that. You always want a high frame rate, which will indicate that your app is running smoothly. Okay, so try to aim for the frame rate for the best. At this point, we have added our background, but we haven't added a sprite. So let's go ahead and add a sprite. Now I'm just going to see what image I have. Um, what I'm going to do is add an image. Let's uh, push everything down and I have, I think I have a monkey head over here. Here we go. Uh, it's quite large actually, but uh, we'll figure something out. So I'll go to the init method where every magic happens and I'm going to create the sprite. Okay. Oops. Uh, CC sprite and I'm just going to say head equal to CC sprite and sprite with a file. And we call it head.png and uh, self add child head. We can also give it some sort of a location that where you want to add this. So I'm just going to say, okay, let's add this at 200 comma 200. 
And self basically over here refers to the, this, the instance of the class. And if you go, you will see that the class is hello world layer. So we are actually adding everything to the layer. Let's run this. So the application runs, but you, you don't see the monkey head added to this particular uh, game or in the simulator. Now the reason is that everything gets added on the layer 0 or the layer minus 1. Layer minus 1 actually. So I think it's 0 actually. Yeah, layer 0. Okay, which means that in order for you to see the monkey head or the new sprite, you will have to push the background into the back layer okay and here we go so here's our monkey head now now the reason you're seeing this is that because the layer is in a z index negative one while this particular guy is in the z index zero so that's why it's in the foreground and the the background basically over here for the coco studio is actually in the background okay so this will get you kind of like started with the concept of scenes, layers, and sprites. And um, and that's pretty much it for this video. I want to go uh, slow, slowly, basically, for this series so that everyone can get an idea of, uh, you know, how to do development using Cocoa Studio Framework. Hopefully in the next Cocoa Studio, which is part number three, we will learn something about moving the sprites, moving the characters because if you have a game where you just have images on the screen like a static images which are not moving it doesn't really serve the purpose of a game right so in the next part we'll see how to apply actions to our sprites and make our game awesome